Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are looking at the Magic 2014 expansion that came out last week, I think, by the time this video goes up. We'll take a look at everything it's added, I'll give some opinions on what it's added, and then I'll show off a couple of the new decks. Sadly I'm by myself, so it's going to have to be against AI, but, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. So, this expansion, I think, is just referred to as expansion as well, which is a little odd. It adds five new decks, which I have unlocked, so let me see the first one. There's the first one, Dodge and Burn. It's a very trolley deck, is what I would describe it as. And then we also have, oh, and also it's blue and red as the colours. Then we have the new single black deck called Lord, Lords of Darkness. I'll probably play as this one in the test match I'm going to do, so I won't bother going into too much detail about it yet. There's Hall of Champions, which is a white, blue, green mix. It seems to rely on exalted creatures. At least that's my, I've used it a couple of times, or yeah, I've used it a couple of times because I've unlocked two cards. Um, we also have the Silvarin, no. Sylvan Might, sorry. It relies on Sylvarin type creatures coming out and buffing each other, kind of like a, a pseudo Slither deck, although not quite the same way. And then finally we have a White Red Sword of the Samurai deck, which introduces new rules and new unit types as well. I won't go into that because I think I'm going to play against him. So anyway, that's the five decks you get. You also get an expansion campaign. So if we go into campaign here, that's the normal campaign. I press the wrong button. Expansion, and then expansion campaign however you also get a new set of challenges to try and do which I have not done yet you also get a revenge expansion you actually need to go into there if you want to get the sylvan deck if you want the other four you get them just by progressing through the campaign so the campaign is three areas one area is just a single fight I believe I'm not sure if it's this one ignore the flavor text no sorry this was the second area I went into four fights that one there would earn you the the burn deck then there's also the jewel area um, and then you've got the, this is the final area I think in here, the far -flung plane. E yes it is, this would earn you the Samurai deck and then the Lord of the Pit, Lord of Darkness, I can't remember what it's called now, the new black deck. And as I was saying, this is the starter area here, and it had the, the tutorials beginning, there we go, against the Exalted themed deck. So we will go, actually I can just do it from the campaign can I, no never mind. Actually, I'll go back into the, the, the base games campaign just to say, if you fight the, the final area, not the, the, the very final boss, if you fight Masks of Demir using the new blue-red deck, I'm not saying it's an easy win, but it's just a really funny thing to see kind of like two decks themed around not letting your opponent use any creatures. You can just troll each other for ages. I had fun with that last night. It was great fun. So we'll go into the expansion campaign again, and I'll probably end up picking the wrong area once more. But we'll see. Oh, I, I was on the damn correct area. My mistake! I don't want to fight that annoying blue-red deck. We'll go into Kamigawa, and we will face Mr. Samurai. Now, hopefully I will beat him. I mean, there's no guarantee. I'm going to use the, the new black deck, which I'm not familiar with. I actually prefer the old black deck because it's themed around zombies, and that's kind of like what I like about it. I have used this a few times though, I've got 5 out of 32 cards unlocked for Lords of Darkness, that's what it was called. So here we go, we're going to go up against Swords of the Samurai and that will show you some of the new rules. Well, new to Magic 2014 anyway. Yep, Versys, come on, let's get started. And that's just the flavour text for the campaign battle. Uh, let me see if I want to keep this starter hand. I guess so, I've got a couple of cheap creatures. It's not the best, but it'll do. I'm not too concerned about playing as strategically as I possibly can, more so just showing off what cards the two new decks have. I should also point out that it's pretty cheap to pick up this expansion. It's £3.99 in pounds, I believe, so that means it would be $4.99 in dollars, maybe $5.99, I'm not 100% sure. Now a lot of things in this black deck actually wound you if you use them, so you have to be very careful. Like For example, if this dies, I have to pick a creature to get minus one, minus one until the end of the next turn. However, if I only have creatures, I have to pick one of my own. Uh, what's this special one? Whenever a player sacrifices a creature, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on the beetle. Fair enough. In fact, I have that card, don't I? Yeah, this is one of them. If I put out Blood Gift Demon, at the beginning of your upkeep, target player draws a card and loses one life. That blue-red deck is actually pretty like that as well, kind of like manipulating either yourself or your opponent to draw too many cards at this and potentially sacrifice life at the same time. So hopefully the samurai will get a card out now. Yes he did. He got someone riding a moth. With flying it's a 1-1, one, one, it's a Bushido 1. Bushido is kind of the, the role that's permanent through the samurai themed deck. What it means is if it gets countered or it blocks it gets plus 2 plus 2. 
just for that action. So that means most of the creatures in the deck are, are really weak, however they are really good at taking out monsters on the defensive or when they get countered when they attack. So I will put down another land and the only other card I can play is that goblin. Hmm. I will put it out just so I have another creature on the board. I don't really want to use him for anything other than defending however. So if I was to attack with my beetle right now he would obviously, oh but that had flying I forgot so I can't even defend with it anyway. If I attack with my beetle right now, he will defend, he'll get buffed so that he won't even die defending, so I will have to do skip attack. And hope that I get a reasonably priced creature, that's actually a reasonably priced, and it's flying. And when a, whenever a player casts a non-black spell, that player loses one life. I don't think the samurai deck has a lot of spells, it has a lot of equipment cards. That's I've used it once, I think, and that's what I noticed. Yep, so he's going to attack me with his flyer, it's 1-1, one, one. I can't defend against the flyer, so I'm going to take that one damage to the face, thank you very much, Mr. Samurai Man. Oh, and then he's playing a Devoted Retainer, it's Bushido 1 and also 1-1. One, one. There is creatures with more than Bushido 1. Offhand I can definitely say that in, before unlocking any cards there's at least a couple of Bushido 2s. Uh, okay, I might as well get my flying little imp out and on my next turn... No, I need 5 and I'm going to have 4, aren't I? Damn. And that's even more. Um, And that's a... I might make use of that on myself actually, just to draw more cards. I'm going to have to play defensively here annoyingly and let him come at me. However, even if I defended with all three of my creatures, I'd only barely kill one of his Bushido monsters. Oh, and he's got another one! Whenever a samurai you control dies, you may put a plus one plus one counter on indebted samurai. So that's a 2-3. Oh, and it, summoning a creature counts as a spell. Okay. Yeah, he lost one health. Fair enough. That's all the more reason to keep that card alive. So let me just double check Bushido that it's 2-2 two, two they get and not 1-1. One, one. It is 2-2, two, two. that is annoying. So if I want to kill it, it's technically a 3-3, three, three, so I can't. I am, however, going to sacrifice that. He's going to get buffed, he's going to kill it. Oh no wait, it has to have Bushido 2 to get 2-2. Two, two. It's Bushido 1, so it only gets 1-1. One, one. Damn it, I could have killed it. But that card's effect will kick in. And I could kill it. Or I could kill his flyer. I'm going to kill his flyer. Oh, but that buffed that card. Damn. Things are getting... Oh, things were getting dangerous until I got a kill card. Kill card, do your thing. Thank you very much. That was very well timed. And since his card is tapped, I'm just going to attack with my flyer and hope that he has no kind of counter to kill it. Well, I'll leave the beetle... Debating, debating, I could use it for defence. No, I'm going to attack. I'll do two damage and then if he only has one creature next turn, he will still just do the one damage to me. By the way, this has turned into less of a let's look at and now it's just a, it's a game of magic. But I kind of went over everything that the expansion, this expansion, there may be more down the line, has added. I think it's pretty good value for the price. Keep in mind as well that the game, the main game itself, was very well priced also. Oh, another one of those cards. I think having... A lack of land is going to screw me. If I had just one more land, I could summon that, or I could use one of these to fill my hand with potentially even more useful cards. So he's got his card back, however it does not have reach, so I will just use my flyer to do one more damage for what it's worth. Anybody's game, so far. Oh, and also, before I forget, this will help remind myself when I'm editing the damn video. In the description below there will be a link to the Steam Store page for you to check out the expansion, and from there, if you've never bought Magic 2014, the base game, you can also find that. I've also done some videos on it. I did a look at video of the base game. I also did a bunch of matches against Blighty. Um, we need an excuse to go back and play that some more, so I would appreciate support and, you know... Oh, okay, so he's got two of the same creature out. Sorry, I got distracted by what's going on. If I defend, I'm obviously going to lose the beetle. He won't lose his card. I'll take the one damage. And he's left one... well, no, he can attack with that in anyway. Give me a land card. No, and it's a card I really hate. I'm going to... If I play this new black deck a lot, and I earn some more unlocks for it, I'm definitely getting rid of these damn foul imps. Flying! When it enters the battlefield, I lose two health. However, it does have one of the funniest flavour texts I've ever seen. The imp, unaware of its own odour, paused to catch its breath, and promptly died. Fair enough. Having two flyers on the field is a good thing. Even if it costs me two HP. 
That also gives me a certain degree of health, uh, defense. I will attack with my flyer because he has nothing that can stop it. Yet. If he gets another one of those moth samurai out, that will be a rather large problem. I have nothing to buff my creatures with yet. The, the, this black deck kind of works around, you have a lot of trash and then you have really big things which will hurt you if you don't have a lesser creature to get rid of in its place. Well, on the plus side, him summoning is draining his HP as well, however, he's now got three of those, what are they called again? Devoted retainers. So each one of them is actually a 2-2, two -two. I could sacrifice that. I'm doing, or I will be doing three damage a turn to him, he is doing two damage a turn. I'm going to take the damage. I think that's the smart thing to do. He's only got two cards in his hand. He doesn't have any counters, he would have used them by now in theory, unless they're high cost cards. Ugh, that's not a land, damn it! I'm going to get screwed by a lack of land. Enchantment! Whenever a creature you control dies, each other player sacrifices a creature. That is really good. And then I will attack for my three damage and leave my beetle on defense. And again, he won't defend with anything. Oh, I mean, he can't physically defend with any of his creatures, but I mean in terms of like using a spell, for example. So if this is going to be how the rest of the fight goes, I am going to win this War of Attrition, but I get the feeling that he's going to do something like that. As long as it's your turn, creatures you control get plus two attack. If it's not your turn, you get plus two defense. That's bad. That's really bad. He's now going to do a lot more damage. It's going to do 9 damage a turn. That means I can only survive one more after this unless I defend against it. I'm going to have to sacrifice the beetle. So that's going to mean I take 6 damage. Yep, that's going to have to be like that. Yeah, you'll get your buff, but you don't have trample, so it doesn't matter. Well, actually it does because it means he won't die. What is this? Oh, he had a target creature gets plus 3, plus 3 until the end of a turn, so that's going to make up for the damage he's just lost from that card. I've got one more turn left in me. If I don't get a land card here, I lose. That's that's basically the end of it. I do, however, make him sacrifice a creature. But it's obviously not the one that's buffed, because he... Oh, I got a land! Okay, let me think about this. That's a 5-3 demon. That's a 5-4 demon. And it has flying. Oh, hmm. Hmm, I think the flying creature is the best bet. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, tell me what I should have done. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I could make him lose three health. Three, four, five, six. Oh, he has eight. Damn it! If I had one more flyer, I could have used this and forced him to lose health. Okay, I'm summoning that. I don't, I don't actually think there is a way for me out of this, depending on what he does in his next turn. He can't defend, so I will indeed attack with my two. Well, wait a minute. Do I want to leave one on defense? Because I don't want to sacrifice that next turn, because I can use that to make him lose life. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to defend with that. I'm, well, I'm going to defend with that when he attacks me next turn. Mm, yeah. Just take one of the one. Because... If I don't survive this next turn, I lose either way, even if I had attacked with both that turn. That may have been a mistake. It all depends what he draws and what's he casting. It's a legendary artifact. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus one. Whenever equipped creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control if it's a samurai card. Wait, so whenever the... So if the thing equipped with this dies, you get it back without it, I think. And when this card is in your battlefield, it's put into your graveyard from the battlefield, exile equipped creature. Okay, that's a pretty nasty thing. He's going to lose another health, thankfully. It's all coming down to how I manage this attack that he's about to put my way. I need to defend that 6 damage. There's no... There's nothing else I can do. <sighs> So I'm going to defend against the 6 damage. He's not going to kill the card because it will get buffed. So that means none of those effects on the artifact will come into play. He will do 3 damage to me. And I will take that. If he has something to give this trample, I lose. But I don't think he does. Okay, so that went in. That did that. That triggers that. So he loses a creature. He picked that one. Oh, to get the effects of the equipment. 
Huh. Choose a player to draw a card and lose a life. You. I think I actually have this in the bag. I could actually make him draw three cards and lose three life and that would make him have two left or I could summon another guy there to help defend, play defensively. I'll do that. Just in case that gives me something to defend with if something goes horribly wrong right now. If this attack gets through I win. Um, I might as well leave him on defense as well to try and give me another turn if I need it. Come on, win. Win! Don't have any kind of counter. Here we go! Very close, but I actually managed to beat him with the new black deck. So that was a look at the expansion in general and a more close look to the, the, the new black deck. And oh, and I got Screams from Within. Enchanted Creature gets minus one, minus one. Uh, when Enchanted Creature dies, return Screams from Within to the gr from the graveyard to the battlefield. Interesting, so it's a kind of recycling thing. And you also saw the, the new Samurai deck. It requires a certain special type of style of play, I think. Anyway, that was a look at the expansion. Thank you for checking out this video. If you want to see more magic, if I want to, if you want to see me drag Blighty Black in back into it, not Black, I've got Black Deck on the mind. Don't take that out of context. Anyway, I'm going to go now before I embarrass myself further. Ta-ta!